Hello and welcome to Middle Age Geek Girl, I'm Sally. Today I have some goodies to share with you that were kindly sent to me from One Day Saving. Now these are in promotion with their Black Friday sale. Please check out my description box below as there are two promotions they are running for Black Friday and you Definitely, if you're interested in buying anything, it's a good time to get some stuff and save yourself some money at the same time. So again, please make sure you check my description box for the details of those promotions. But moving along, let's check out what I got. Now, they're all special projects, I guess you could say, for this selection. So we'll start off uh, with the sticker set first. And yes, everything in this unboxing is uh, Christmas themed. I know I generally have a rule that we're not allowed to talk about Christmas in my family until after my birthday. However, if you are interested in buying things to do for Christmas, I do realize I have to start showing them earlier on the channel. So this first set is a sticker set of some really cool Christmas stickers, which we'll check out in a moment. But with these little kits, you always get your standard toolkit. They're special gems, so we'll check them out in a moment. And it's the sticker set or two sheets that are just they just keep it attached as one now which I actually prefer and it's all little Christmas images so these are the perfect type of small projects I like to do on the channel for like whipping chats or whipping story time and being Christmas themed this will be perfect to do in December even though they're not creepy, they're they're pretty and cheerful Christmas images. I still will do them through December. So you've got a nice range of different Christmas scenes from your wreaths to your snowmen to your gingerbread house to your presents to your stockings. So yeah, a nice little pack. And being special gems, it will be nice and shiny. So we will check those out. Looking at it, there seems to be... 14 colors in total for those stickers which is awesome and we will check out the gems uh, so you've got looking at the backs the silver back looks quite good so they look like they're manufactured quite well and the clarity looks really pretty so you've got, so you've got like golds and reds and a hot pink greens bit of a nice pink there nice blues but yeah the, oh, that blue's really pretty the clarity on that one's really quite nice clarity on all of them look really good actually manufactured quite well so yeah they'll look really pretty oh that's a gorgeous color that looks like the uh, crystal gem equivalent of 550 or something pretty so yeah, they look really good and I think that kit will be an awesome one to do on the channel during Christmas. So I'll pop it all away and we'll check out the second item. Okay, here is the second item. It's also a sticker, but it's one piece of a sticker and it is again Christmas themed. Again, your standard toolkit. We'll look at these gems too to see how well they're manufactured. The crystal rhinestones, that's just obviously a little bit of rubbish for the um, seal of the envelope. And here is the actual sticker. So it's your holly and baubles and Christmas decorations as a hanging piece. So yeah, that's nice and sticky. So yeah, you can uh, peel this off as a decoration onto something or like me as I say all the time I might even take it off this backing card and uh, put it on a display card when I put it in my display book um, but yeah I think it's going to look really pretty with the special gems so let's check out what they look like I'll keep that there in frame so you can see it for a bit longer so it looks like there's seven colors in this one and we'll just have a quick look 
and see how well they are manufactured. And they look pretty clear. They don't look dusty or dirty. The backs look, silver backing looks pretty good. Which means they're covered really well. And I definitely like the colour range in that one. They're quite pretty. So yeah, that one's a nice one too. Another good one to do uh, on the channel. I mean, I do have a few Christmas projects to do. I might not get them all done uh, during a Christmas. That means I've got Christmas in July if I need extra stock. So we'll pop this one away and we'll bring out the third one. Okay, and for the final piece, this one is a special project that's um, a desk decoration. Again, in the theme of Christmas. And yes, that's Luna. She has come to visit. Don't know how long she'll stay, but we'll see how we go. So this one came nicely boxed. Uh, the box is a bit banged up, but that doesn't bother me. Uh, it means it's got extra protection, which is always a good thing. First of all, there is your standard toolkit. There are your gems, which we will look at as well. But here is the item. So it is, I shall bring you down a bit and might just end up with Luna's tail in the shot. That's okay. But as you can see, if I can get it right, there we go. <laughs> as you can see, there's your base plate so that it stands up like so when it's done. And it makes a nice little tabletop decoration for your Christmas table. Or if you're like me and you don't put a tree up because uh, you've got no room for a tree, you should have some room on a shelf somewhere to put something like this up for Christmas. So it's an adorable Christmas tree with presents. There are a number of variations in this set. So yeah, if you don't, if this one doesn't grab you, there there are about, I think, oh gosh, maybe seven-ish uh, designs and they come in all sorts of colors. So this is your sort of standard traditional Christmas tree with presents and I like it. It looks really good. It's one-sided. Bye Luna. Luna's <laughs> gone now. Uh, it is one-sided and that's fine. So if you're going to have it displayed, you're obviously just going to have the front part uh, displayed somewhere. But it looks like it is, this is coated as well so that it's going to be pristine when you peel it back. It's going to look nice and clean. So don't worry, that's not scratched up. That's just a protective coating. And yeah, this looks like it's printed really and created really well. I can't see sort of any areas of concern, no dirt, no, the film is definitely well attached. So I really do like this one. We will have a look at the gems as well. Curious to see how many colours and there are all, uh, there's some bigger ones as well. So it's not all your standard little size. There's all different styles, shapes and colours. So there's 12 different colours in total. Uh, let's have a look at them and check out the clarity. And yeah, they're looking good already. I can just see by the silver backing. That's the first thing I always look at is the silver that's covering the backing. That will tell you how well when you place them down, like are you gonna get, uh, see the actual drill field through them or not. And these look like they're coated really well and colors are gorgeous clarity of them are gorgeous that is a beautiful like ruby red there i love that one it's probably deemed more a christmas red i don't know the official colors of these ones but i think they to me scream christmas obviously and you got some nice blue shades there and then you come to your special ones so you've got the pink faceted the gold marquee gold faceted this pinkish sort of it goes pink and orange teardrop color i like these ones these are always really pretty and four of the five sorry of these big red ones that look beautiful i can see the camera reflecting in them if you can see that little black spot that's the camera reflecting in them so they are printed or um, created really, really pretty. So this is going to look stunning. 
as well. Now this one I might have to uh, do for the channel uh, above the other ones I've shown because I, as I said I don't have a Christmas tree. I got rid of my Christmas tree many years ago because we just don't have the floor space for a Christmas tree. Also, I had trouble finding a black one, and then black ones came in style for a couple of years and um, didn't have the room for them, so uh, I just gave up and don't do Christmas decorations. But if I could do little things like this and pop them up on shelves, that's perfect. That's me still having that holiday spirit and still being able to be dead inside at the same time. <laughs> So I'm going to pop this one away and we will come back for the final thoughts and outro. So here they are, the three awesome goodies that were kindly sent to me are all Christmas themed and I'm allowing it to be on my channel way early for Christmas because I need you guys to see them if you're interested in purchasing them before Christmas. And also, again, just a reminder to check out my description box for the awesome Black Friday promotions. There's two that they're running. And if you can save yourself some dollars whilst buying some really cool diamond paintings, whether or not they're on Christmas theme or not, please take use of those promotions. I think they're all going to be really cool little projects to do for Christmas. Whether or not I get them all done this Christmas is another story. But I definitely uh, think they're small enough to do little whip and chats with, which is what I'm always looking for uh, when it comes to selecting some of the smaller projects, as well as your normal size diamond paintings. Thank you, everybody, for watching. It is truly appreciated. As I'm saying, for all videos released during November, it is my birthday month. I do turn the big 5-0 this year. So if you haven't done so already and you'd love to give me a free birthday present, please subscribe to the channel. That would be a really awesome birthday gift. If you could also hit the like button and the notification bell so you're up to date with when I've released my latest videos. Now for November or the rest of November and December, I will probably, and I'm not going to promise, but I'm going to definitely try to release maybe more than three a week because I have so many of these little projects I want to get done. I'm not going to do a vlogmas type thing, but if I can get little like story times and stuff done with... Um, some of these uh, Christmas goodies or even Creepmas colouring pages, things like that. I want to try and get them done and also to catch up on a lot of stuff I wanted to try and get done throughout the year that I never got around to. I don't think I'm going to get it all done within the next month and a half before the year's out, uh, but we can try. So um, keeping tabs on when I've released a video, the best way to do that is hitting that notification bell. If you are interested in supporting the channel further, I do have a Ko-fi and a Patreon account set up and the details are up here on screen, but there's no pressure. Honestly, uh, by subscribing, that helps a lot and I would appreciate that so much. I'm trying to hit 1500 by the end of the year. I've got about six weeks left to go and I'm on about 1355 subscribers at the time of filming. So if we can get that extra 145 in six weeks, I would be ecstatic. Having said all that, I think that will do for this video. So everybody, no matter where you are, please stay safe, stay weird, and I'll catch you in the next one.